a stock a trader explains a common Fibonacci a trading mistake. Stock a trader explain a common Fibonacci a trading mistakes. We are the monthly chart of Dominio Resources Incorporation. Uh, this is uh, a Russell 1000 component and we want to discuss a stock trader explains a common Fibonacci trading mistakes. All right, when it comes to Fibonacci trading, Fibonacci extension trading, Fibonacci retracement tradings, uh, traders are very often making okay the same mistakes over the year all right and uh, all the time all right so i want to explain to you all right a common fibonacci trading mistakes so here we are I'm going to use my fibonacci investment tool you can see that the dominion resources incorporation went up from here all the way up here and pull back to the 61.8 percent a Fibonacci retracement level. Here it is, this is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. By the way, if you want to learn to master Fibonacci trading, go to www.dayprotraders.com. So price went up from A to B and then pulled back to point C at 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. So after that, what usually takes place, traders will expect the price to go up to once it's 1.8 percent Fibonacci extension level so other traders will say that the correct level is 138.2 percent Fibonacci extension level so there is a bit of uh, okay differences between Fibonacci traders so price pull back to 61.8 percent there is a group of traders that will expect the price okay uh, to stop at 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. Another group will say that the price will go up to 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. So now I'm putting on my chart the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. So that's the first target that traders are watching, which is good because if the price breaks above, breaks above the prior high, the challenge for that bullish momentum is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. Does not matter whether it's 61.8% retracement or 50% or 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. The 138.2% is a critical resistance level if the bullish momentum should continue. Okay, if you want to understand that more, you go to dayprotrader.com and click on 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. So, so the first target that traders, one group of Fibonacci traders will be expecting is 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. So as you can see, price came to that point right here. Let me show you that. Price came to that 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. And uh, people will sell, all right? There will be order here waiting for the price to come to that point. And aggressively, people will sell. So they don't wait for the price to display a lower high, the first lower high. They don't wait for a clear cut signal. They just sell because the price is at a Fibonacci retracement level, which is completely crazy. All right? <laughs> completely crazy. You see, the market pattern is bullish. The price is in a rising channel. And now people are selling on the edge of the channel when the price reaches the 138.2% Fibonacci transfer level. So it, it, it looks like, uh, you know, when you're watching some of the wild life uh, uh, videos, when the lion will jump on one of the animal and they will start fighting, that's how some of the Fibonacci trade trade, so they will just sell, all right? must go down all right and the price and you can see there's a bit of fight here price went down for one month and so so for day trading purposes you can highlight those level and implement a top down trading method for day trading purposes but for swing trading and position trading there is a better way all right so price came here look did it so the best scenario will be for the price to come out of uh, the channel which he usually do sometimes and to pull back and retest the edge of the channel before going down. Or the price to come out of the channel and to form the first lower high. That will be a better scenario than we have a proper bearish trading setup. So break below, retest, 
and one candlestick down. Okay, now we implement a top-down trading method to trade it, a multiple time frame trading method to trade it. All right, that would be a better approach. But as you can see, those who were expecting the price to change direction at 138.2%. Now, if they were day traders, okay, that's why for one month, okay, also some of the swing traders for one month price went from the upper side of the rising channel to the lower part. Well, they make some money, that's okay. But if they hang around too long, you see the price start going back up, galloping and break above that level. So the next level, so there are other group of traders that said, no, it's no 138.2% level, George. It's 161.8% level. Definitely, it will change direction here. So now let's highlight the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. We are talking about, okay, stock trader explain common Fibonacci trading mistakes. And it's happening all the time. People are doing the same thing over. So... They have done it yesterday, day before, and it didn't work, and still people are doing it. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. All right. Some people like to love to, to lose, all right? So, so they have a lot of money they are throwing at the market, all right? Throwing. They are transferring what is happening in the financial market. People are transferring their wealth and their children's wealth to somebody else. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. Be, okay, what I say, I'm saying here is that be smart and manage the risk. Okay, look for high probability trading setup. If you do not see a high probability trading setup, keep your money in the bank. All right. So here we are. So people are waiting here. So one three one six one point eight percent. So those who are here, we see price going down a bit. So another group here will jump on the price. This is uh, okay. Theoretically speaking. In fact, uh, in reality, that's what they are doing. They just uh, must go down. Even hedge funds are doing this. Amazing. So they just sell, uh, must go down. You are at 161.8% Fibonacci station level. Price will go down. See here? So they are just selling it, just selling it. But another thing that I need to explain to traders is that there is another group of traders that are taking profit. That's a better way. So you buy. So that's a better way. So if you buy, okay, after 161.8% Fibonacci adjustment level, and the price is going up and reaches the 138.2% level, you can either bank your profit straight away or secure your gain, which means you move your stop loss to secure either 80% of your gain, all right, and that's a good approach. That's a better way to use the Fibonacci. So you buy here, you see, so price, uh, you see here, pull back to that level. That's another thing we will talk about another time. Common settler is kaput, okay? After retesting that level, it doesn't mean that buy, so as it's pulling back, some people are buying at 38.2%, price bounced up a bit, price came back to 50%, some are buying, price came to 61.8%, some are buying. Wait for the common sector line here to be broken and then implement a top down trading method or allow it to display the first higher low after this trend line is broken. That would be a better approach. All right. Okay. So if you buy here carefully after it came out, okay, and you use a top down trading method and it start going down, prior now you are setting a profit target using Fibonacci extension level to set a profit target. So once the April 2 percent reaches that level, you will secure some of your gain or bank profit. Now it breaks above that level, you want it to come back and retest it here, which it did here. So those who were at C161.8%, you see they were forcing it down, they bring it a little bit closer to the 138 percent level, so pull back to 138.2 percent level. Common settler is kaput. Implement a multiple time frame trading method to trade it. So bombs up. You see here. So those who are selling here. So this is a, a common Fibonacci trading mistake to sell because the price rose to a Fibonacci extension level. That's a mistake. So people will uh, expect a reversal because once price there was a retracement on 61.8% level. In theoretically speaking, target 138.2% level. Saturday we say no, 161.8% level definitely is going to go down, and they will sell there. The best approach 
wait for the price to come out of the rising channel to retest and to turn around or to come out of the channel and to form the first lower high or at least to seize on that particular top frame some bearish chart pattern <laughs> all right that would be a better way so this is about a stock trader explained common fibonacci trading mistake and it's amazing that uh, traders keep doing the repeating the same mistake all the time and don't do that okay don't do this don't repeat the same mistake all the time why usually why people are doing that they are doing it because they don't review their losing trade so what usually take place trader have a losing trade and they get emotional this is normal you lose you are not happy okay you become a bit emotional okay you kick okay your computer a bit or right? you get angry but after a while you must go back to the chart and review that trade and say what went wrong what have i done did i enter the trade too early it was i violating the market pattern which means was i selling in a rising channel or was i buying in a declining channel or did, did i not pay attention to the market pattern the current market pattern so those who sold it here i want to 8.2 percent you see when i beat but it went back up those who sold it i want to see one point eight percent pull back a bit and it's gonna go back for day trading it's good to check those key level because some traders who bought it at 61.8 percent so we talk about convergent point so those who bought it here are buyers as the price approaching this level some of them will come out as a day trader I will take advantage of that. So I, I'm like a, a lion waiting at a pool for other animals to come and drink their water. Do you want those YouTube videos of wildlife? It's crazy jungle life, all right? <laughs> the fight, okay? So now, you see? So you just wait here as a day trader, okay? Try to hit that level. Now you are monitoring the prior reaction on your five minute time frame or your three minute time frame, whether there is a bearish chart pattern. And uh, you just claim a bit of your profit there and go very fast. You see this month, it went down a bit, okay. And again, you wait at once it's 1.8% level for day trading purposes. You see, it was not straightforward. It's blah, 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 blah. Because it's a fight. There's a group who want to sell, there's a group who are buying. And uh, you just uh, the Fibonacci trader sometimes can create some distortion in the market, so they just want to sell because of their Fibonacci levels. So what has happened? Okay, let's clear all this now. You understand the message, which is simple. Okay, all right, very simple. So now you can see that the prior was in this channel before. You see now, if, if you extend the channel, okay, can you see the channel? That's the channel. But there is another channel which is developing now. It's horizontal channel here. So if you use the market pattern with the Fibonacci, you will make a better decision. So far, you see that the price did not form, okay, a lower high. All right? Did not form a lower high. So as it reached the one three eight point two percent level, some people sold it. I want to see one point eight percent. Some people are selling, but now the price consolidating. So if you want to sell, sell on the upper side, take profit on the lower part. Go back here. In all cases, use the top down trading method. So if you come here, you will implement a top down trading method. Pull back here, you use a top down trading method. Signal fell, you come out. Here it is, bounce, you see, went back out. Because after this pull back here to the top of uh, pull back to retest the one three eight point two percent level, and another group bought it. Okay, so you need to understand what's happening. So a pull back, and there's there are buyers swing trader here, they bought it up. So they push it up. <laughs> now another group, okay are selling okay near the 200 percent fibonacci retracement level and phew they bring it back now now it's there's a consolidation happening here it's a fight all right so this is about a stock trader explain okay common fibonacci trading mistake i hope you will find this video also useful and we put into use to avoid okay common fibonacci uh, trading mistakes if you have any question or suggestion put in a comment section and in due course i will be recording another video to answer your specific question we are the tstw24 traders discussing stock trader explain a common fibonacci trading mistakes happy trading to you all and speak to you soon